Well, hi everyone. Um, yeah, it's been a, one of those weeks, I, I guess I'm at that stage in the build where there's bits to do all over the place and of course trying to work with the weather or the temperatures in particular. Very, very mild this weekend, I think it's 8 degrees out at the moment. Next weekend's forecast to be cold, around the freezing point. Um, and the week's been a bit up and down, so you know, doing things all over the place to... Just, one, because of this, the state of the build at the moment, and two, because of the temperatures. So, try to remember what we've done. First thing I think I did was I put a second coat on the, on the cabin sides of epoxy, so that's all nicely sealed now, and rounding the, the porthole openings, so that end grain there is all sealed. Um, and then I did quite a bit of work on the on the chart table, quite a bit of work. I just, it's nearly finished the chart table now. I've got a stainless steel piano hinge um, waiting to go on, but the top is cut to shape. It's just just lacking fiddles to finish it off, but uh, the top, top, as I say, is cut to size and shape, and I will screw, probably today, screw that piano hinge on so we've got an opening lid to the chart table. That's looking nice. I say, as I said last week, all recycled wood. So I cut this and glued it up last night. This teak for the front of the chart table. Glue seems to be dry. Let's have a look. Needs to clean up and trim up. Use the Semperoc glue, as you can probably tell. Seems to be glued okay. Give it a clean up.
Um, and then I've been here this morning and on the main deck, well, first of all, before that, earlier in the week, I got the last board fixed on, the, the glue arrived. So this one that I'm sat on was the final board of the main deck that they glued and nailed on. Looking good. I think the deck, the main deck's now complete. Pleased with the look of that. And I just routed out these grooves along the board joints on the main deck. So all the board joints, I've routed out these V-shaped grooves. You've seen me do that before on the main deck and on the cabin sides along all of the board joints. So what will happen next is that I'll mix up a bit of epoxy and I shall put a coat over this entire main deck and with a brush work it into those grooves. So that's all sealed. First coat of sealing on the boards themselves. The boards will take two coats of epoxy to seal them as I've done everywhere else. And in these grooves I'll fill them with, with first of all a, a epoxy mix with microfibers. And then after that probably just a light sandable filler so that so that it can be sanded nice and flush and we've got that smooth transition from board to board you've heard me say that before but it works well i've done it all over the hull comes out nicely so that's where we are i'm about to mix do a mix of epoxy and get on with that
Yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about was, was the, um, how it all looks there where we've cut the porthole holes. Remember, we've got two layers of 10 millimeter ply laminated together and cutting the holes obviously reveals how well that lamination has gone on. If we look at them, they're, they're pretty good. This one here is perfect. I don't know if you can scan around in there, Kerry, as much as you can. Is it in focus? Let's hope. So the second one here, Pretty good, pretty good. You can see the glue here has, has swollen up a bit where the, the boards aren't quite tight together, but, but the rest of it, all the way, the boards are really tight. And here, remember that glue fills gaps, um, you know, is, is strong at gap filling up to one millimeter. So um, it's come out okay, it's come out okay. And the third one here, here we've got the boards perfectly tight together. <coughs> No issues at all. Looking nice. And basically it's the same story. It's a bit too dark around the other side to film. But uh, same story the other side. So uh, happy with the lamination. <coughs> Should also remember that, that the boards are nailed. First of all, the first layer of boarding is, is epoxy glued to the frames and nailed, bronze nailed. Uh, grip fast nails, of course, on 26 inch centers. The second layer, of course, glued to the first layer with the Semper Rock and glue uh, nailed again with the bronze grip fast nails on 26 inch centers plus top and bottom to the to the stringers so you know, she's fixed with 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 the bronze nails on pretty regularly I'm, I'm I'm happy and confident that the fixing of the boards is is up to the job yeah and here we are at the chart table because um, the other thing as I said you're thinking about bits all over the place so the goal was to get this chart table in, to start thinking about the electrical panel that's coming in there, uh, get a battery box in that's going in where the engine stood over there. If you can see the engine there, obviously I'll have to move the engine and get a battery box in, get the battery charger in so that we can plug in with a, with a landline uh, and have electrics in here. So that's, that's what we're thinking about. So that was the reason why I built the chart table in place. Um, as I said to you earlier, piano hinge is not fixed yet because I haven't got the small enough screws, but I've got this stainless piano hinge, which will fix that lid in there so that it opens, something like that. Uh, should get that on today, I hope. Weird there, that looks better. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's where we are. Some things going on all over the place. Also thinking about those those starting to get some of this finished in here i want to get two more fixed ports looking forwards in that bulkhead so 
thinking about all over the place where we are. And there it is. Here's the sound, some fiddles. That's it for this week, I think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, or give us a thumbs up. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>